Hi, I'm Steffi Fung, and I've teamed up with Adobe to show you top tips in Substance Painter for digital fashion. Today, we are going to look at top stitching. Let's jump in. Okay, we are here in Substance Painter and I have this lovely hat that I would like to add some more custom top stitching to. Now today we will be utilizing the new ribbon tool. It's a new feature that Substance has added so that we can have more precision when we are creating top stitching. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on this fill layer. Let's choose a color, shall we? I'm feeling like a yellow color. And we're going to add a black mask. Now what I want you to do is type in ribbon in the search bar here and you should see it here. So click on it. And you also want to make sure that you have selected it here, ribbon path. And I'm going to scroll to the top. They have a lot of options here, but in this tutorial, we will just focus on the top stitching, which you will find in apparel, top stitches straight. So now if I were to click, let's say here, let's just trace around this circle here. I press enter just to end it. I'm going to add some height to this material here. So we can click here, add height, increase the height here. And I'm going to add a little bit of roughness as well because threads are usually not very shiny. So I'm going to go back to this option here of the ribbon tool. And if you scroll right to the bottom, you will see category classic straight stitch. And let's choose zigzag stitch. And the best part of this is that if I've slightly misaligned my line, it is all editable. I can add another point as well. You can just keep tweaking it till you are happy with it. So that is one of them. I am going to press enter just to end it. And I'm going to choose a different one for this yellow circle here. So let's do the same thing. So we'll just click here, click around the circle. Now we must have path to selected and you can change it to something different. Or if you don't like any of the classics, they have also decorative, which gives this awesome looking stitch as well. The only thing I don't like is this line here. So I'm just going to drag it, rearrange it and press enter to finish that. And the last one we are going to attack is this big blue circle here. So same thing, make sure path three is selected. Then go to complex. Satin stitch is cool, but they've got so many other ones, right? And you can increase the stroke width. That's pretty cool. Or let's try a different one. baseball stitch. Decrease the stroke width. Press enter to finish. Right, I just took a few minutes to finish off the top stitches. And as you can see, this is the final look. It just gives a lot more detail and depth to your digital fashion pieces. So give this a go. And I hope you enjoy this technique. Thanks for tuning in to this digital fashion mini series with Adobe. More Substance Painter quick tips are coming, so don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.